<coughs> Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be learning three things, which is weight element vanish, weight element uh, image vanish, weight attribute. Okay. So what are these things? I'll be uh, telling you in this uh, discussion itself. Okay. So after you have added a sequence, you'll be adding an open uh, browser activity. So I'll be inserting a URL here, which I've already copied. Okay. So this is the URL uh, in Wikipedia. I have a page uh, Lamborghini contact. So uh, that's the uh, page which we are going to use today. And one more thing what you have to set up here is this is for your own convenience. Uh, you can just set up the browser type as Chrome. That would be more helpful. And uh, after that, what you have to add is weight element vanish. Okay, so I've already searched here and kept. So I will be just adding it here and weight element vanish. Now what uh, weight element vanish does is see here it will wait for the specified UI element to disappear from the screen okay it will wait for the specified element which is the specified element the specified element is uh, in this case this one okay this is the specified element in this uh, screen okay this screen I'm select I've selected this one so it should disappear when it's uh, means it should notify me when it's disappeared okay so for that notification, I will be adding a message box here so that when it's disappearing at that time, some text will be appeared. Okay. So I'll be writing, uh, so I've written user has uh, moved to the next page. Like uh, if he goes from some, this page to other page, obviously that's the thing where this will get disappeared and the message box will output this one. So this is the uh, technique. Let's uh, run and see. The compilation is over. The execution has started. A new browser web page has been opened. The URL which I had specified. And now you can see whatever the element which I had specified, it's present in this part of the screen. Right. So if I um, go to some other page, for example, contact us. Then it should uh, display me in the form of a message box that a user has moved to the some other page okay so it's not displaying here that uh, doesn't matter i don't care about that just uh, this is the technique if you perform it in some good system it will um, show the message so in this system it's not showing the message but this is the technique you got the point right so that's all uh, what is uh, what will happen and um, the output will come like this okay then uh, let's move on to the next topic which is regarding the weight image vanish the same thing instead of element we'll be selecting an image and we'll be trying out the same thing that will work there and after that we have the last topic which is weight attribute this one i'll show you what's the procedure for it so weight attribute what it will do it will wait for some time um if it uh, if the thing does not happen it will uh, notify uh, notify us okay so what actually happens here is let's have a look at that we'll be closing this one before that we need to find an element so we'll be uh, first uh, using the find element here i'll be putting it here and which element I'm going to find out the calculator element I'm going to find out so I'll be just indicating out it on screen that uh, this is the element which I'm trying to make use and then I'll be writing here weight attribute now I have put the weight attribute here and what it should do is it will see an attribute for example in the calculator attribute the title will be obviously calculator only right so let's add a title here and the title value uh, is equal to calculator only okay in this case it is true when it is true at that time what should happen i should get notified right so what i will do i'll use a message box okay that message box will come here and okay message box will come here and it will tell notify something okay 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 so it will uh, notify that this has happened okay let's have a look at this one then we'll see the case where it does not happen by writing some wrong title okay So 
so here's an error that the target uh, property is not set okay what does this mean is see one thing we have to do when we uh, select this element right this element has to be stored somewhere so where this element is getting stored when it's uh, selecting or finding the element the found element should be stored somewhere so i'll be creating a control k as ll so it will be storing in the variable ll and uh, in the weight attribute i have to specify that element okay which is the element which i'm trying to see that is the element ll okay so that is specified here now let's run and see see the message box it's saying kkk what does that mean that means that the title is correct as specified here okay now let's uh, put a wrong title and see in the wrong title i'll uh, specify it as calculator one okay i'll specify a wrong title then i will uh, execute you uh, i'll execute this program and show to you what uh, it happens what will happen is it will just wait for some time for this title to become calculator one and when the time exceeds it will inform that that has not happened that's only wait attribute okay now it will wait for some time i guess it's 30 seconds so you have to wait till that time See what it's uh, saying activity timeout exceeded so what does that mean that means that this title was not found in this one obviously it's calculator written here i'm reading calculator one so it will never be found and the time will exceed and it will show as activity timeout exceeded okay so that's all what is there in these three uh, things the process is clear but uh, because of my system it's not working here but if you try it in your system it will work okay so that's all for this video make sure the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one